right this time. I said that was wrong. Bye. Baby, eh? Baby, guess you gonna throw. Baby, guess you gonna throw. When I get together with the guys, I like to prepare something that's simple and satisfying. For me, there's nothing better than a plate of drunken spaghetti. This recipe is very similar to aglio olio, but there's a little bit of a twist. First off, salt your boiling water, and of course, add your spaghetti. And while they're cooking, you start your sauce. Add some extra virgin olive oil and heat it up. While you're waiting for your olive oil to heat up, find something to do. Drink! That was close. Okay. Drink! Okay, drink it. It's just whiskey. Daddy, do fame. Move it. Yeah, oh, more. David, what are you making? We're starving. Make sure you stir your pasta. You don't want your spaghetti to stick together. And now you can add in your garlic. Be careful. Garlic has a tendency of burning very quickly. So keep an eye on it. Next, some dried chili peppers. And the thing with chili peppers, if you want them really piquant and really hot, Crush them with your fingers, and the more you crush them, the hotter they get. And of course, the boys like it nice and spicy, so add in a couple more. I first came across this dish a few years back, and of course, like any recipe, you gotta make it your own. Now, the twist in this recipe is anchovies. Cut them up, and throw it in, they'll dissolve, be very careful though, they're very salty. David, where's Cheers. the food? Ah, pizza! Oh. Drink. To the last drop. I don't know if I call this drunken spaghetti because I add wine to the spaghetti or because while I'm cooking I get a little bit of a buzz. It's really important to drain your spaghetti from the water just before the al dente stage because then you gotta cook it in wine. Add a little bit of salt and now a little wine for your spaghetti. Well, actually, a lot of wine for your spaghetti. Freshly chopped parsley. Pecorino cheese. And this is a strong, sharp cheese, which gives a nice balance to the saltiness of the anchovy and, of course, the sweetness of the wine. Continue cooking everything together. Your spaghetti will release starches, the wine will reduce and thicken the sauce. Mmm, drunken spaghetti. So who won? Why don't we go to an Irish pub? We never go to an Irish pub. Cabiria, Cabiria. Fine, fine. You know what? We'll start off with Dolce Vita, then we'll go to Cabiria slowly, and then we should go to an Irish bar. Do the Canadian. Cheat cheat. The dessert? I expect you guys to do dessert. I want a Dolce. I don't do dessert. Not at all. You have to do something like second, third, or something like that. What do you think? I made a cake or No. You are the chef. You know what, guys? Fine. I'll go make a dessert. Bye. Bravo. Bono. A little bit of pressure.